Hello guys and welcome back for another video. Today I thought I would share with you how I film my YouTube videos. So I wake up around 9 o'clock, the first thing I do is I get my glasses so that I can see in HD. I will check my phones, I'll go on all the social medias like Instagram and I'll post and I'll reply to you guys on Twitter and on YouTube and I'll just scroll for a little bit until 15 minutes later when I get out of bed to make my bed. I have to admit, when I'm filming videos I do put a bit more effort into making my bed, for example I will make that heart pillow symmetrical. I get out of my pyjamas, you guys often ask where I get my silk PJs from and they are from Lily Silk, which is a website where you can get really high quality silk. You can often get freebies and find really good coupon codes so I'll leave them all in the description box below. I then change into a fancy top and some jogging bottoms because you can't see my lower half. And it's finally time for makeup. The first thing I do is I put in my contacts because having glasses and using lights like box lights they often reflect in the lenses and it just doesn't look good. After that I'll put on some moisturiser, trying not to use any SPF so that the lights again don't reflect and make you look like a ghost. Also excuse the state of my skin. If you compare my skin from this video to the last video I uploaded a few days ago it just proves that teenagers do have hormones and you can't always do much about it. It's just life. For eyeshadow I'm using my sleek palette and the matte colour as an all over base. I talk about my love for this eyeshadow palette a lot because it's only £8 and it's super pigmented so I won't go into too much detail. I'm then using the matte brown to line my lower waterline. I then put that in the outer corner of my eye to create the illusion of a crease and not forgetting to blend it out so there are no harsh lines. After that I'm using the shimmery colour on the inner corners of my eyes because it reflects really nicely with the light and makes my eyes look a lot more open and awake. I'm then using my prestige coal liner to line my my tight line and my water line followed by liquid eyeliner because later on I'm going to put on some fake eyelashes so if I make any mistakes the eyeliner kind of hides it. <laughs> Then I use my Primark £1 brow pencil, the normal. Looks a bit weird before it is then blended out and it looks a lot more natural. I'm using my trusty £2 concealer stick from Collection to do dot to dot. I'm using the concealer brush from Blank Cosmetics before then putting on the eyelashes. These are the Ilia 101 eyelashes, they are my favourite. I've already repurchased a new set because as you can tell they were on their last legs, they no longer really look like eyelashes. Mum then walks in on me doing my lip liner which is the Rimmel London 1000 Kisses. It's a really nice your lips but better colour, it's nice and safe and always goes with anything you're wearing. I'm then brushing my hair with the wet brush because, you know, don't want any tangles. And I'm finished before then heading downstairs to have breakfast. You know me, I drink my 500 millilitres of water every morning before I eat for the metabolism. I have done a breakfast video on my channel already, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link that below. But today I'm just doing my yoghurt recipe from that video. So basically three of my five a day in one bowl with a sprinkle of chia seeds just for some crunch and protein. Of course, it's not a video without dim sum. She often joins me while I'm eating my breakfast. She just keeps me company. After that, I'm cleaning my teeth because nobody wants yellow stained teeth, although some lighting does affect the colours of your teeth. I'm just putting that out there. So all of the previous footage that was in this video was filmed on this camera, which is the Canon EOS 600D. I've had this for about four or five years now, and it's still working really well. On it, I have the Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens, so it makes everything super blurry and really, really beautiful. On the top, I have my Rode VideoMic Pro, and it just plugs in there on the side of my camera. And so these are the settings I have it on. ISO 400 and on 30. 400 tends to be the highest I go for ISO without it going grainy. I I also use the Velborn EF51 tripod and it's pretty decent. I always make the rookie error of doing my makeup first and then I have to set up. And setting up is probably the hardest bit and it always gets super hot while I do it. Underneath my bed I keep all of my lights. I did a video on all of my YouTube gear and all my YouTube equipment so I'll link that below if you want to watch it. So now you can just watch me set up my lights. Turn it on, my remote, hey, I'm recording on both machines, so this is what it looks like front on, this is what I speak to on a weekly basis. I use the light because I have a window behind me so otherwise it would be backlit. I will take out my hair and I will get 
started. This is what I do pretty much every morning. It's about 10.30 now, so generally this is when I do start to film, and then I'll be finished by 12 o'clock. That's when I'll import all my footage and then start editing in the afternoon. I'm quite- It's really hot in this room. I know, I know. I'm actually, actually boiling. It's because of the, the lights and the sun. It's a really bright room. Why is this so hot, man? So this is how I do my close-up shots as well. It's from a brand called Mitchum, and basically it can like last up to two days easily. You just need to apply it to wet underarms. Just so put a bit of water under your underarms and then apply it. It will dry and then you're done for two days. It's crazy. It can be four or five quid. It's really, really good. And so this is my camera setup for my YouTube videos. I hope you enjoy seeing the behind the scenes and the get ready with me for days when I do film. If you would like to see weekly videos from this channel, then feel free to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any other questions about my YouTube setup or about getting ready to film videos, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will reply to all of them. Um, have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.